Mrs. Lewis, would you like for me to go over that again? Uh, no, thank you. Well, if you have any questions, I'll I'm... call. Uh, you could just leave the paperwork right here. Thank you so much, Mr. Abbott. Finishing up the bathroom. If I don't, Dylan's gonna get on me. Are you all right? No, I'm not okay. I'm very rattled. I keep... I keep thinking about, you know, Bill stowing away in your car on the way to the cabin. I, I told you nothing happened, Vanessa. It's okay. I know nothing happened, but it could have. He could have walked in on us in bed. Vanessa? That's not gonna happen. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. French is on his way up. The guy from the bank. We have a meeting. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just calling Mary to make sure she reminds Bill to get himself over here right after school. Is there some problem with him? No, he's just 13. Need I say more? Well, do you want me to talk to him? No, I can manage my own son by myself. Yeah, I know you can manage him. I, I mean, I know you're a great mom. I'm just thinking that, you know, he's reaching that age where, where kids start thinking that they know everything, so maybe he needs to talk to a guy. You know, like a little guy-guy kind of talk, and, and uh, Billy's in prison, so he can't really do that himself. Uh, I'm aware of that fact, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you're... Yeah, look, I'm sorry, I'm... Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't know. I know you're trying to help, and I'm just very preoccupied. Excuse me. Mr. French is here from the bank. Hi. How are you? Good afternoon. Thanks for uh, coming on such short notice. You know Vanessa, right? Okay, we, uh, we were just getting ready to talk a little bit about uh, my nephew Dylan's uh, construction company. We need to shore up his financing a little bit. Uh, can I get you a cup of coffee? I'd hold off any plans in that area. We have a problem. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I, uh, I got a little, uh, spot on here. I took it off with some turpentine, but it's okay. Hmm. What are you doing now? Checking up on me? Go sure. ahead, check it out. It's cool. just about finished. Get a bottle of champagne, we can launch it. Are you kidding me? What's wrong? This is a bathroom? It, Matt, I mean, this is a Look at this. Oh, is this real marble? Yeah, a square foot costs more than my first car did. You know, I have always felt like such a klutz in this house. <laughs> I'm so glad Peter's going to be raised here part time, though, so he can get used to all this nice stuff. It is kind of out of our league, though, isn't it? So how's Dylan today? Well, I'm losing it. I'm not sweetie. What's wrong? Well, he wants to do everything on his own. And you want to do it for him? Well, but if I every time I try to do something for him, you know, it hurts his fragile ego. Yeah. And then, and then, but he, he, he can't do everything on his own, you know? He does need help. Yeah, he does, he, and, and he can't. So, it's just gonna be that way for a while. I mean, you're not gonna know how much is too much or what's not enough. But if you trust each other, you'll do it. As long as you're completely open and honest with each other. You'll be fine. 36 hours? That's all the time you're giving us? You can't be serious. It's not possible to raise this kind of money in 36 hours, I'm Mr. Sorry, Prince. sorry, Mrs. Lewis, but times being the way they are... Hey, look, don't be telling me about the times, all right? You're jerking us around. I want to know why. You knew the risks. If you can't cover the debt, I'm calling in the note. I am absolutely stunned. We have been good, solid customers forever. Your bank is where it is because of us. We have the money. It's tied up now. Now, look, we're talking about people here, all right? If we go belly up, we're going to... Bankruptcy gonna... isn't the same as going belly up. It's a viable way. Look, all right, you can call it whatever you want, but we're talking about lost jobs here, all right? We're going to have to shut down at least half of our wells. That means a lot of people are going to be out of work. Do you understand that, Mr. French? Wait, 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 wait. We can't meet our payroll. What's with the 36 hours? Why are you putting this pressure on us? I don't make the policy. Oh, you don't make the policy. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you get out of here, then, and send in the guy who Josh! makes the policy? For heaven's sakes. I guess I have to say thank you very much for stopping by, Mr. French, and we will be in touch when we have something to say. Cool. 
cool down. Honestly, what are we supposed to do, kill him? Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Why don't we just do that? Emma. Marlon, Billy, Louis the Third, come back here. People are announced in this office. I'm not people, am I, Mom? You are in big trouble, Bill. Uh-huh. It's about Matt Reardon. What'd I do? What'd you do? Well, for starters, you invaded that young man's privacy. You went sneaking around. You were peeking in windows that don't belong to you, and you lied to me. That's totally unacceptable behavior. I'm sorry. Sorry? What were you thinking of? Just that I like Michelle so much and something was getting in the way. Well, for Pete's sake, it was the middle of the it night. It wasn't that late. Don't you contradict me. It was important to me, Mom. I had to do something. Haven't you ever felt like that before? Sure. I mean, there, I understand that sometimes you like a person so much that you do things that you weren't Right, there. right. No, I did what... Wrong. You're not getting the point. Didn't you just say that you... No, what you I'm like... trying to say is that you can't just justify what you want to do no matter what. You know, you have to think of the other person and respect the other person and realize that your actions are going to have an influence on him. I tell you how I really feel about Michelle, and all you do is lecture me. Well, no, I'm... I, I was trying She's to make trying you... to tell me that we're too young and it doesn't really matter. Well, you're wrong. It does matter. Maybe next time you listen to me instead of going on for an hour about what a jerk I've been. Vanessa, look, you can settle things with Bill later. Right now, I need you focused on Lewis Oil, I all right? This company focused. could be gone Lewis, tomorrow. We I, I thought I talked to you to stay at home, but uh, I got out to my car and I looked up at the door, and there he was. Hey, Hi, I just didn't want to thank you over the phone. He accepted. Isn't that great? Hey, I'll tell him. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So I just wanted to say I appreciate so much the offer. You know, I, I was going to say thanks, but no thanks, as I, I usually do. But like Mindy says, the Lewis's stick together. Yeah. So from the bottom of my heart, I, I want to thank you. It means a lot to me. Vanessa, something's wrong. I'll get it. What's going on? Dylan, there's a problem, all right? A big problem. The bank called in our notes we could go under. What? What do you mean, like, like wiped out? Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, I'm so sorry, Dylan. This couldn't have come at a worse time for you. Forget about me. What about the company, the employees? So who did this? Was it well, who, Roger? No, no, I don't think it was Roger. I mean, he doesn't have the motive. He doesn't really have the clout right now. Alan. It was Alan. Yeah. I think it was Alan. I, I think he's done this because I refused to sign over his assets to him. So. So what do we do now? Well, we have to find out for certain if it was Alan. I'm going to get Nick to help. I'll see you later. Okay, I think you're right. I think it's Alan. I mean, he may not have the money right now, but you can bet he's got a lot of favors he could call in. Uh, head over to my office and make a few phone calls. Uh, okay. I can't call in a few favors minute, myself. Sorry. Okay, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Dylan, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Right. I, uh, I actually came by to tell Vanessa that the bathroom's all finished. Oh, that's great. Listen, we got a little problem here. Um, Josh, can I help in yeah. any way? Yeah, you can. Why don't you come with me to my office, make some calls with me, okay? How you doing, man? All right. Here. Just walk. Okay. Thanks. All right. Coming through the door. You ready? Okay. I'll go ahead. You okay? No. <clears throat> so, just all of a sudden, this business crisis blew up, and uh, I had a <clears throat> bad fight with Bill. I don't know what to do. Is there something I can do? I don't really know. I mean, it's just not working. I don't see why I can't be with you and not be able to look my 13-year-old boy in the face. You want to talk about it? family's here for you, Dylan. We're gonna help you through this terrible time. It, it, it's over. I can see again, Mindy. You know, I've heard of a really good seeing eye dog. Bridget, I can see you perfectly. You're wearing a Or maybe it would pink... just be easier just to use a cane. Hey, 
If you, okay, you guys don't believe me? Watch this. Look, here's the break. Huh? Look. You need to bake some more cookies, Bridget. There's the refrigerator. The stove. Look, there's the sink. What? Come on, honey, I'll help you. No, I don't need help. What is the matter with you people? Why don't you believe me? I can see. I can see, damn it. You see? Baldy can certainly afford to float Louis Oral alone to tide you over. This was all Nick's idea. It had nothing to do with it. What about your mother? What did Alex say? I believe that she'll be fine. Well, I'd have to uh, reiterate once again that uh, Louis Oil is an entirely independent entity and must remain so under any circumstances. I give you my word that uh, Spaulding has no desire to move in on Louis Oil. <laughs> we would be paying uh, interest, of course. That's fine. Fine. We can arrange for some low interest terms. Great. Then it's all settled. No, it's not. I'd have to talk to Josh about anything like this. He uh, flew to Chicago. He's trying to get in touch with some money people out there. Will you call him and tell him to come home? We found our money people right here in Springfield. Vanessa, if this has something to do with you not wanting to take help from Spaulding, I'm sorry, but this is no time to let pride get in the way. Remember how frustrated you were with Dylan? It's not the same thing. Yes, it is the same thing. It's like Granddaddy always says, you have to take help where you can get it. Excuse me. Um, it, it was my understanding that you had until the end of the, of the day. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Well, it seems to me that if you go anyplace else, you're going to have to pay some exorbitant rate. Or even worse, you're going to have to give a part of your company. Now, if there's any kind of delay, well, I would hate to see Lewis Oil shut down even for an hour because of something like this. I mean, personally, I would hate to see any of you suffer. Well, no one should have to suffer. Especially Dylan, after what he's been through. You're right, Nick. I, uh... It's a very generous offer, and it's very timely. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have hesitated, even for a second. Oh, look, you don't have to apologize, all right? I'm just sorry to see this happening to you. So is it a deal? Wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave you two alone to discuss the details. My hero. <laughs> I love you very much. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go work on my designs. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Okay. Well, I better try and reach Josh and let him know the good news. Um, wait a minute. Vanessa, before you call Josh, I think there is something else that we should talk about first. My mother is not going to have a problem with this, as long as I'm able to present this to her in the right way. Now, I would like to be able to give her an assurance. What kind of assurance? Well, I think that it would be a sign of good faith if you would agree to side with her instead of my Uncle Alan and refuse to sign over his assets. And strictly as a formality, I think it would be good if you put it in writing. Uh, and uh, if I... If I didn't show my good faith by putting this in writing, would you still make the loan? Uh, Vanessa, look. We're, we're willing to bail you out of a very dire situation. Now, is it asking too much to expect that you don't throw us to the wolves? You didn't answer my question. It was very simple. If I said no, would you still make the loan? I think it would be more difficult to convince my mother. Look, if it was up to my Uncle Alan, we wouldn't even have the money to lend you. So why is this a problem? It's a problem because I don't like your tactics. I mean, you sat there and you let your wife believe that you were some kind of savior, and all along you had this little trick up your sleeve. 
It makes me think, you know, that you you and Alexander must have been really happy to find out the bank put the screws oh, to us. Oh, come on. I'm Vanessa, serious. What? If I weren't completely certain that Alan was behind this, I might think the two of you were. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second, all right? I'm trying to help you, okay? I'm the one doing you a favor. I'm willing to tie up a sizable chunk of money. What I'm asking from you, it's not going to cost you a damn thing. It's a good deal, Vanessa, and Melinda would be able to see that. Okay, fine. Let's get her back in and tell her about it and see what she says. I, you know, I think that Melinda cares more about her family than one-upping Alexandra. And you know something? There's no point in trying to belittle me in my wife's eyes when you're doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. I'm trying to save my company, all right? There's nothing underhanded about this, Vanessa. It's as much for Melinda as for, for our future or anything else. You know what, Nick? I think you've said this so many times yourself that you actually believe it. Why don't you just go? You know something? I think you're making a big mistake here. Look, I am not going to be coerced by anybody. I really do want to help you, Vanessa. I want to help your family. Please, take the deal. It's the best way. Is it? Yes, it is. No, I know. No luck. No, I haven't had any luck either, Josh. Well, no, there's one possibility, but believe me, it's a last resort. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I will. Yeah, you too. Yeah, bye. Vanessa? I uh, hope I'm not disturbing you. I don't believe you. I don't believe that you would show up in my office after what you've done. I won't be long. I just wanted to uh, offer you a little peace offering. Is that all All right, I'll give you my best guess. You think I'm still angry with you for stealing the tape? I know you're angry with me because I took your leverage over me away, and you're so angry that you're trying to destroy my family and my company. How'd you do it, Alan? How'd you get the bank to call in the notes? Oh, no, 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 Vanessa. You're wrong this time. It wasn't my doing. It was someone else. I've... Uh... Just learned that my sister has contacted the bank that holds your notes and is putting pressure on them to revoke your credit. I think I know why. Why should I believe you? Why should I believe you after what you tried to do to me? Do you have any proof? I can't blame you for being skeptical, Vanessa, but I, 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 I don't have proof in hand, but I know it does exist because I'm telling you the truth. My sister and Nick have hung your family out to dry. Right this way, madame. We have a little cider, fresh salmon. Something's wrong. Hold me. Okay, what, what is it? Are you all right? I wish you could put your arms around the whole wide world and make everything better. Does little Billy really need handling? Well, he is doing and saying the most impossible things, and I don't know what to do or to say back to him. Vanessa, he's, he's 13 years old. He's a little boy busting to become a man. It's his job right now to be trying to break away from you. I mean, the first attempt by all of us is a little tough. At least the way I remember it. Oh, no, you didn't do the kind of things he's doing. I mean, he hid in the back of your car. He was sneaking around trying to spy on you. You didn't do that. He could have done a lot worse. No, he couldn't. Not in my book. That's bad. I don't want him doing things like that, and I don't know... I mean, should I... Should I ground him? Should I try and talk to him again? Or what? I mean, what should I do? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I should 
Maybe we shouldn't see each other anymore. I thought you said you needed these meetings. I know I do. I do. But I... I would just go crazy. I would... I can't stand it right now, the thought of his finding out about us. I think I can help you with little Billy. Just give me the word and I'll, I'll give it a shot. When I was his age, I was so wild and everybody had me figure for Juvie Hall. <laughs> and then on to prison without a chance of parole. Oh, no, you weren't that bad. No, I wasn't, but everybody thought I was. I was testing boundaries, pushing everything to the limit. And so was he, Vanessa. He's 13 years old. His voice is cracking. His hormones are, are throwing him all around the room. His ego is taking a beating. He's, he's, he's seeing and, and, and feeling things that he has no idea how to handle. It's tough. And what makes it even harder for him is the fact that he doesn't have a father around. Oh, I know, I know. Well, I, I mean, sure, he misses B Billy terribly, and that's why, you know, I'm doing my best to kind of you make up for that. And... and you could never be someone's father. You're too pretty for that. Hush. I'm trying to be serious. I am being serious. The more you try to be little Billy's father and mother, the more static you're going to get from him. Swell. Well, what do I do? <sighs> try to let go a little bit. Maybe give me a shot. I mean, we, we did sort of have a man-to-man -man talk the other day. <laughs> you did? What about? Uh, just stuff. Uh -huh. Guy stuff. I don't know. Maybe we can talk again. Maybe even be buddies. How come you're so wise beyond your years? <laughs> what is it about you that makes me feel okay, makes me see things clearly? All I do is listen. You're my friend. 